Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 20, oops, 7th, 8, 2000, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for your topic of the week, Cancer, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the second card here which represents the challenges that you need to overcome, that is going to be the uh, the Hermit card. Afterwards, uh, we do have the Hierophant card which represents the positive aspect of the week, and then uh, it is the Ace of Pentacles for what it seems that represents the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. So we do have a four Earth cards out of four into the spread. And we are definitely talking about establishing stability, establishing trust, establishing um, personal independence, if you will, right? And so on and so forth. It is likely that this week you are going to achieve a major progress into your well-being. How we are gonna do? How you are gonna do that? Well, now we are going to see through this uh, through this reading. So the first card, which is the topic itself, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, and is going to be accompanied by the King of Swords. So we do have a passive. Uh, passive enemies in this particular case. So just like I suspected from the uh, from the rest of the cards here, it does look like that you do have a certain plans or certain ideas for the progress of your future. That That is just in general for the progress of your future. These ideas could be uh, career-wise, these, these ideas could be also relationship-wise, it could be for both as well. That These are the general ideas of how you see yourself in five years. That is the question that I hate the most back in the days where I was going on interviews, you know, how do you see yourself in five years? So these kind of ideas I'm talking about here, and all of them are placing you at the end of a position of authority. However, now this at uh, the very beginning of this week, most likely you will start feeling the coziness of your current situation, right? The coziness of your current relationship, for example, or of your current career. So you're gonna start seeing the lights at the tunnel, and that itself may diminish the ambition that you may have in regards to those grand ideas, in regards to the overview. So having these ideas and pretty much having the plan or the strategy toward those ideas will not going to be transformed into effective actions, not at least in this uh, particular week uh, from you. And there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, this is a week where you have to relax rather than stress yourself out with uh, 
with further progress. This idea you need to kind of indulge yourself with the, uh, if you want to say, fruits of your labor, the benefits of your hard work, um, uh, the um, the attention from your relationship and etc etc now these two cards as well may point to a certain attempt of a reconciliation either career wise or relationship wise that is and this this attempt is not going to be made by you but from the other person and when that's the case you are going to face it with severe doubts i would say is this going to work out into the future should you give this man or a woman a chance for a another business partnership or a another relationship and that is going to be dictated to you cancer that now you feel independent toward this person so that is going to be a person that you almost forgot all right you remember them just by a name whatever uh, experiences you do have in between you two, um, they no longer affect your life in any way. So this is most likely not your recent ex, for example, but a, a long distant ex that you have maybe in the teenage years, all right? Or it is not your previous business partner, but maybe someone that you had an idea back in the days, you couldn't manifest it. And now that person comes around ready to manifest it, but you are on a different page. So the next card represents the challenges that you are to uh, overcome here, hopefully. And we do have the Hierophant uh, with uh, the uh, Hermit, excuse me, with the Knights of Pentacles. Uh, so uh, the challenge is very simple here, guys. Uh, while you do um, need to relax throughout this week, you still need to keep up your ambitions, your ambitions, excuse me, in the back of your head. And you need to acknowledge that sooner or later, these ambitions are waiting for you to perform upon them and not anybody else. And therefore, throughout this week, the challenge for you is going to be to maintain what is substantial for yourself, to maintain this option for a new direction or for a direction in general that you have a uh, an opportunity or, or kind of like a door opened to go forward with it's no different the challenge i would say it that way the challenge itself is not to stop here i mean you haven't reached your limit because at that point you know let's say you are in a very good position into your career and you say to yourself great you know i don't want anything else but i'm okay here i i like the job the pay is good so i don't need any more growth well that is the challenge here to understand that you can go for more you you definitely can achieve a certain growth but in in the same way the challenge points that is going to take a lot of time not just only this week but probably six months or maybe one year as well the hierophant the hermit excuse me it is a, a very very slowly developing card especially with the knights of pentacles these two cards points that the whole endeavor the whole grand achievement or whatever um it will require very slowly progressing, consistent um, and simplisticated or simplified, excuse me, a actions, plans and strategy in whatever actions or decisions you are to do in this regard has to be focused only towards your goal, in other words, toward what you want and they need to be supported with very, very strong determination. Determinations, excuse me. And uh, that breeds for responsibilities and when you do find yourself in a good spot everybody who who is kind of like in a good spot doesn't want to take any additional responsibilities because that only jeopardizes the good spot but once again it is time for you to turn the page it is time for you um, not right now but right now it's time for you to think about turning the page excuse me and to think of where are you going to be in five years right <clears throat> the next card, it is in regards to the positive aspect, and that is going to be the Hierophant card, and it is accompanied by the Ace of Swords, so we do have a passive enemies into this position, and that definitely speaks about a serious counselling in between you and someone who already have been there where you are going towards in five years from now, and this person pretty much is going to shatter your uh, it's not your beliefs but let's say your diagnosis upon the um 
upon the plan and the strategy. And that person will appear to be a quite sort of a benevolent support. You're going to have a deeply meaningful conversations with him, uh, with the person itself. It could be a woman as well, you know, as well. It can be a man. And it would, this person, the, above everything else, is going to reassure you that there is nothing to be afraid of. I mean, whatever plight or whatever problem that you are to face in pursuing your goal that will take place in five years, you know, for example, uh, people already have achieved it and there is a, a pretty good system how to do it and whatever plight you are to face along the way, there is a solution for it, all right? Whatever problem you are to, um, <clears throat> you are to need to overcome, there is a resolution for it as well and that will boost your um, confidence a lot more and as well trust in that, and that you can do it. Trust in yourself first and foremost. Uh, the Hierophant also points as a positive aspect that there will be a buildup of trust into uh, your relationship life, you know, into your private life. And as well, um, you will start thinking less and less about the, how can I say it, um, calculatively toward your current uh, performance, but more like you will perform for the performance itself. So it's like your job will become your diagnosis. The money are going to find you on their own accord. And the last card, it is in regards to the guidance that Taro is offering. And I pretty much covered it in the previous cards, but I will say it once more. The accompanied card here, it is the um, Eight of Wands. And that kind of confirms uh, what I said back in the day, uh, back uh, in the reading, excuse me. So uh, the Ace of Pentacles points that whatever you have in the back of your head, it is in an awesome opportunity to further your goal, you know where you are going to find yourself in five years and by its own accord is going to present you with a lot of content, a lot of happiness, ecstasy at some point. Um, that could be, you know, the flawlessly uh, harmonious relationship you want, the successful business you are striving towards because we do have the eight of wands. The conditions are not right right now, right? The time is not right right now. So it is best to the way we say it, to bet on the winning horse rather than to bet and shoot aimlessly into the dark because you may be left with no arrows to shoot when the time come when the target is clear and therefore depriving yourself probably from everything that you have worked for. So take your time guys, enjoy this week, think of, you know, with uh, exhilaration where you're going to be in five years, what do you want to become in five years from now? And once you had enough of the current blessings you do have and you have consulted yourself with this very wise person, very successful person that have been there already, it could be a professional help as well, like couples therapist, you know, business advisor, uh, banker and etc, etc, real estate agent and so on and so forth. If you do want to buy a new home, for example, uh, and you boost your confidence, uh, you know, you are going to see that once you and uh, have enough of your indulgements right now, you will take the right measures toward that long-term and distant goal. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.